heard a story about Mark Twain and his wife. Mark Twain, who is famous for his swearing and his drinking and his cigar smoking, was married to a Baptist Sunday school teacher. Now, those two don't normally go together, but they had a wonderful life. And Mark Twain had brought his wife on one of his several farewell tours where he was trying to remake one of the fortunes that he lost. And he was getting ready to go on stage and trying to tie his bow tie. Now, not one of those clip-on ones that we're all used to, but one of those big hunks of cloth that you try and turn into something that comes close to a bow. And she knew that after he'd had a few drinks and he hadn't been able to have a cigar in his hand for a little while, he would get frustrated trying to make this bow tie. And she was really embarrassed. Every time that he would just blurt out his expletives and start swearing, she would get embarrassed. And she wanted to show him just how embarrassing it was. So as he's trying to tie his bow tie and, and getting frustrated, she could tell he was just about ready to erupt. And she stands up in front of him and says, you blankety blank blank, you blank, you blankety blank blank. And he kind of grins and shakes his head and says, honey, you got the words, but you just ain't got the music. I heard that story as I was working with uh, my mentor, Fred Harburg, around creating an enterprise-wide coaching program for a large corporation. And what we discovered is that for coaching, but also on many other topics, every other year or so, there would be an initiative and a program and they go to a training and everybody would learn a great model. They would learn all the words, but they were never taught the music. They could follow and they could do the checklist, but there's a heart to it. There is something that makes that model sing. And that's the music. So with uh, growing people and with living life juicy, we want to make sure whatever we present, we want you to get both the words and the music, the technical and the professional, the, the checklist and the heart behind the checklist. We want you to get the why and the how. And those things together, the words and the music will bring about powerful behavior change. So look for more videos, more courses, more opportunities for you to, get, to grasp and gain both the words, quality models, quality approaches, things that have been shown to work, but also the music behind it. The, the small little details, the why, the heart, the foundational things that really make these things work in the real world. Words and music. Make sure whatever course you take, that they're offering not just the words, but the music. Because honey, if you got the words and you ain't got the music, you aren't going to make a difference.